Today, I wanna to showcase one of the most mind-blowing applications I've seen and one of the best uses for ChatGPT4. Now, this all came about because ChatGPT has added vision so it can see into your pictures and it knows how to look into them. So, what you'll see on my screen here is TL Draw. Now, if you've never heard of this, this is a wireframing application. So, you can build out wireframes like this, which is a simple login form. But what they've done is they've made something called Make Real. So, you post in your OpenAI API key, we have to select this and we just click the magic button that says make real. Now this is gonna go ahead and make an image of this, send it off to ChatGPT and they've added a prompt on top of this. So there's a system prompt that I'll show you later, essentially giving ChatGPT some information. And there you go, it's made the form and it's given us the code for that as well. So we can click this copy code here. We can go into VS Code here and paste that in. And what you'll see is it's, it can load in the fonts for you. So it's got that code for you and it's using Tailwind and it's just gonna give you this HTML. But it gets even cooler than this. It can even write your JavaScript on top of this and you can host it as a permalinked website from within this application. So if I go back to the example we had there, you can even do this. So you can copy this permalink here. If I come out of full screen and paste this in here, you'll see that you've just got a link to your application here and it has all of that logic there for you. So it's even blurred out that password for you. So you could send in sort of, you could make a basic wireframe and send it to someone as an example, and it will be a permalink here with makereal.tldraw.link. But it gets even cooler than that as well. So I'm gonna show you another example. So if we go here, you'll see that I've actually drawn a wireframe here. Now this is a terrible drawing, but let's see what it does. If I hit make real, it should be able to see into this image, as I said, and it will have that prompt that they've given it, knowing it's sort of a wireframe and what to do with that. And now if we wait for the response from OpenAI, you see that it's built essentially a version of this. But what we can do is we can also add in some sort of notes to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the text tool here and I'm gonna go into notes and I'm gonna say notes in red, just to tell GPT to ignore what I'm writing here, but consider it a note. So what I can then come in here and do is say separator in black or in middle. So that's just gonna make sure that it's getting that separator sort of in black and the or in the middle. Like we see here, it just says or. And I'm also gonna say, add company logos to buttons. So let's see if we can pull in the company logos. Now I have a feeling it may not be able to if it just sort of guesses the link. But what we're gonna do here is we'll just select all of that, hit that magic button again, make real, and we'll see what this comes up with this time. So if we wait for this to load here, we should see that it comes back sort of taking in our notes into account here as it's read them on the page. And there we go, it's come back with a login form that looks closer to what I've got over here. I don't know what images it's decided to pull in here for the example, but as I said, you can double click to interact in here as well, and we can go and copy the URL for the permalink and even copy that code. Now, another really cool demo that I wanna show you is it also knows sort of how to do the JavaScript. As I said, it's just tying into ChatGPT. So we go ahead and hit make real there. We'll see where it comes up with for a clock, but I've just literally drawn such a basic clock and said, display UTC time. So we'll see where it comes up with. And there you go. It's literally just made me a clock with UTC time with everything working. I could go ahead and copy that code, as I said, paste that into VS Code. You'll see it does sometimes choose to use inline styles instead of Tailwind. But if we go down here, you'll see that it's got that JavaScript in there to update that clock. And that's how that second hand is working for us. That's just so cool to me. And it's, it's really gonna help when you sort of get a mental block. It just helps you get started. Now, another really cool example is this sort of rotation scale one. So you see I've generated this earlier, but it will come in here. We double click to make it interactive and we can just rotate this and change the scale. And it, it's done all of that for us. I've literally given it this wireframe. That, that's it, it's so cool. I didn't have to describe anything for ChatGPT in this one either. It literally just prints it out. Now, a more complex example is we can even do some sort of wireframing where we say three stars or less, go to a page where we wanna ask for more feedback. If it's four stars or more, just go thanks for your review. So this is what it came out with. So let's say I do four stars and hit submit. It's just gonna say thanks for my review. Now I can go down here and reload this frame. Let's submit a two star review. It's gonna say, do you wanna tell us more? And then we could submit that and it's gonna go thanks for your review. And that's following along this logic that I've given it here. Now, sometimes you may have to make it real a few times to get what you want, or just keep adding notes that are a bit more specific to get exactly what you want. Another really cool example, let's go down here, is I've asked it to get in that YouTube logo, and it says you are not subscribed to Jolly Coding. So I highly recommend that you click that subscribe button, and it says you are now subscribed. 
Now, if you've never heard of TL Draw before, it's an open source sort of wireframing application as I've showed you here. It's, it's this whiteboard sort of application that we've been playing around in, but I wanna sort of talk through that blog post. So they've actually put out a blog post sort of describing how this came about. And it came about from a Figma engineer called Sawyer Hood, who posted him using this, and they he essentially posted the code publicly, and they went in and forked this and made their own version for the Make It Real. But they show off some really cool techniques on how they sort of got the canvas to work and stuff, and also some really cool examples. Now, I also highly recommend following their Twitter account here, at TLDraw, as they post some really complex examples like this here. You see they got all of this working, and there's some people that got Pong working on this and other sort of games, and even people that built sort of diagrams and it managed to get the JavaScript right for that. So you'll see they've got some more examples here of it can do that page animation. He asked for a page flippable notebook and it gave him the code for that. You'll see this one, he's got an editor with a drag and drop. You can keep adding a circle. And this is sort of the one I showed you earlier with the scale and rotation. Someone even got a piano working within it by just drawing a piano and it says it changes the corresponding frequency. But as I said, the really cool thing about this as well is it's open source. You can go in and you could build your own sort of version of this. You could build on top of it if you wanted to add more things. So all you have to do is go to their starter template and then you can clone this and you have a Next.js application with all of this built into it for you. A really cool thing I wanna show you is we go to this makereal.tsx component. You see this system prompt here. So they've added quite a long prompt here for telling ChatGPT to sort of be specific. It says you're building prototypes from low fidelity wireframes. So you could come in here and modify this. You could change out Tailwind for something else if your preference, use CSS, and you could just essentially play around with the OpenAI API to get the prompt response that you want. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Things are developing fast, so I highly recommend you check out their Twitter account as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you're excited about this like I am, leave a comment and let me know. Thank you very much.